Section 1. Understanding Catastrophizing Have you ever found yourself catastrophizing or thinking and reacting as if every setback was like the end of the world? You're not alone. Let's look at catastrophizing and what it can do to your life, and more importantly, how to break the cycle. Catastrophizing is a cognitive distortion where our minds magnify and exaggerate the negative aspects of situations that others might say are minor setbacks at worst. When you catastrophize, the smallest problem is blown out of proportion, no matter how unlikely that outcome may be. Example of catastrophizing, I'm going to lose my job because of this mistake, then I won't be able to pay my mortgage and I'll lose my house. This is going to ruin me. Other common examples, getting a minor headache and immediately jumping to the conclusion that it must be a brain tumor. A friend cancels plans, catastrophizing leads you to believe that they no longer like you. Life can be so much better when you learn to escape this mental trap. Section 2, recognizing catastrophizing pattern. Try to recognize the kind of thinking that is associated with catastrophizing, such as all or nothing thinking, overgeneralization, and filtering. All or nothing thinking categorizes issues into extremes. There are only two ways things can be and there is no flexibility in the situation. Examples of all or nothing thinking include, I can't do this so I won't even try, I never feel good. I always feel bad, everything is horrible, nothing good ever happens. Overgeneralizing, taking an isolated negative event and turning it into a never-ending pattern of loss and defeat. Overgeneralization example, you speak up at a team meeting, but don't get your ideas heard. You leave the meeting thinking, I guess my boss hates me. I never say the right thing. Filtering is a distorted thought pattern, which is the tendency to ignore positives and focus exclusively on the negative events in your life. Filtering example, I received a very positive annual review and an award for my work on a program, but my supervisor wanted to discuss my last budget proposal, so I think my days are numbered in this company. The constant barrage of catastrophizing thoughts can take a toll on our mental health, affecting our overall happiness and quality of life. Recognizing that you have these patterns is the first step toward breaking free. By understanding our thought processes, we can begin to regain control over our thinking and life. Section 3. How to Stop Catastrophizing Imagine a single catastrophic thought as the first domino in a row, triggering a chain reaction of negative emotions, irrational beliefs, and impulsive behaviors. If left unchecked, catastrophizing can spiral into a cycle that's hard to break and feeds on itself. But we can challenge negative thoughts. The process of questioning the validity of negative thoughts inserts an element of cognition where previously only an unconscious negative emotion was present. We have the power to question our own negative thoughts by simply knowing that we can. Mindfulness and grounding stay in the present instead of fixating on the future. Techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, and grounding exercises can help. Reframe negative thoughts into more balanced, realistic perspectives, fostering a more positive outlook. Doing so takes effort and practice, but is definitely worth it. For example, you can say, I am choosing to work late today, rather than I have to work late today. Can you hear the difference in the power of the action? Thought stopping techniques. When you notice that you are beginning to catastrophize, mentally tell yourself, stop. Then shift your focus to something positive or actually go do something to keep you busy and distract you from your thoughts. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and getting enough sleep can help manage stress and deal with anxiety, making it easier to break free from catastrophizing. In conclusion, catastrophizing can reduce the quality of your life. Stress generated by this cognitive distortion can place a huge burden on your coping mechanisms, but the time spent combating this debilitating condition will be repaid throughout the rest of your life. Thanks for watching. If you learned anything, please like and subscribe.